Hello there all my fellow gamers. You know, up until very recently also, I used to be just a FIFA kind of guy. Until I was introduced to God of War. Man, I wish I could live in that world all my life. The characters, the world building. Oof. Now na, I can't get my hands off the controller. Most days you'll find me with my eyes wide open sitting in front of my PS playing this iconic game. As a God of War pro, I have a few tricks and tips up my sleeve. Come, I'll share them with you in this video. So, fellow gamers, brace yourselves. Explore surroundings in main story mode. Guys, let me tell you something. Thoroughly exploring the vast realms of this must-play action adventure game is paramount to finding as many valuable items as possible. Each realm and biome map is loaded with hidden relics, chests, scrolls, artifacts. All of these relate to events and side quests. However, let me tell you, a big mistake that these newbies, like that new Master 69, they make is trying to explore remote areas of the map that simply cannot be accessed until the main story mode is complete. Throughout the map, players will encounter a slew of green doors and smoke-filled air holes on certain structures which mark a locked area. Guys, do not try to access these areas until the main story objective is completed because otherwise, beginners will waste immense time and effort and end up retracing their steps later on. Open the lost items and nor need treasure chests. Guys, when you're exploring various realms of this game, sometimes you will fail to see the valuable items that you can pick up after combat. Luckily, Brock will lead players to a treasure chest early in the game that contains all the items that a player lost along the way. This is your golden chance. You can then access the chest and obtain whatever inside by approaching the glowing blue treasure chest located in each forge. And and a very important point. Beginners should always keep their eyes out for the Norni chests, which requires some pesky work to locate upon but are definitely worth the effort. Located in most realms, the Norni chests usually require destroying nearby runes through various methods. Every beginner should make the effort to open these chests as they will permanently upgrade their health and rage. Train in Niflheim Guys, the intense combat in this game is so hardcore that it's imperative for beginners that they take time to train, practice and hone their fighting skills before taking on the most brutal enemies. Given how brutal the mini-bosses are in this game, the last thing a newbie wants is to wander into danger without the ability to even protect themselves. By fighting countless enemy types for as long as needed, to master the art of combat in this game that you need very, very much to defeat the game's most formidable foes. Complete the labor's tab tasks to increase XP. Guys, once a beginner beefs up their skills in Niflheim, one of the earliest and easiest ways to earn XP without endangering yourself is to open the Labors tab in the Gold menu and complete a slew of basic tasks listed. These differ from the Path main story mission and favor side quests. It also helps the newbies to learn the ropes of crafting, killing, searching for collectibles and the like while also granting them points. Other minor labor objectives include killing enemies using trees, incurring burn damage with the Blades of Chaos and frost damage with the Leviathan Axe, all of which are great teaching tools for beginners to prepare for the harder parts of the game to come. Look for underwater loot With Kratos and Atreus spending a lot of time traveling by water, it's important for newbies of the game to always be on the lookout for underwater treasure. You should also be on the lookout for underwater treasure and loot that drops from tree limbs into lakes and rivers. While canoeing, shimmering gold territories and glowing barrels will appear, which often contain hack silver and valuable crafting resources. All you need to do is crash into the barrels and then you will be instantly granted whatever item is inside. The golden shimmering areas require pressing circle to pick up the loot, which also includes stat boosting dew drops from trees that should always be collected by beginners. My fellow gamers, trust me when I say this. Once you know how to play God of War the right way, a whole new world of possibilities is going to open up for you. The game gets more interesting and you'll find yourself winning at it more often, making the experience so much better. And now question time for the pro gamers of God of War Ragnarok. Do you have tips that I could use to up my game? Please do share your thoughts and keep watching this space for more such fun content.
See you in the next one.